Hello and welcome back once again to NIWFA TV, where it's my great pleasure to welcome a new co-host to the show, Sophie Bell. Sophie, welcome. Thank you very much for having me, Colin. I'm very excited to be here. Not a problem. What makes you want to get involved with NIWFA TV? Well, I'm a freelance sports journalist um, having a look at women's football, um, which I'm excited to be part of the coverage, the great coverage that we have here. Yeah, well, we'll certainly keep you busy as we do about that. Hmm. And hey, let's get straight over to this week's coverage. And our first game is a very, very fascinating game between Cumberland ladies who travel to take on Lisburn ladies. Yes, Colin, on paper, this one looks set to be a great game. So let's see how it turns out. Here's the highlights.
So it was a great win for Lisburn ladies. It was indeed. Uh, I think they deserved the win. Started off very, very well the sort of first hour or so, and then for some reason after that they just sort of lost their way a bit. You know, Cumber came right back into the game, got a goal back, and you know from there on then they pushed hard. But ultimately, Lisburn ladies got over the finish line. Just deserved the win. What did you make of the two penalty calls? Soft, I have to say, I mean, I'll be honest, I haven't had a chance to look over the video highlights for the first one yet. A lot of, obviously, Cumber felt it was outside the box. They couldn't understand why it was given. Uh, the second one did seem soft, but at the end of the day, Sarah Stevenson was there, finished the two of them, finished two goals early in the match to finish with a goal tally of four goals, so nobody's going to complain about that. Definitely, um, and it included a wonder goal by Amber Dempster. Yes, Amber uh, on her wrong foot. She, uh, she was quick to quick to tell me after the match. To be honest, you know, scored an absolutely brilliant goal. I suspect it'll find its way into the the, the competitors for the the goal of the season tournament come the end because absolutely brilliant goal. To be honest, well done, Amber for scoring it. Definitely. So after the game, Colin caught up with Stacey Murdoch of Lisburn Ladies and Amber Dempster of Cumberwreck to hear their thoughts on the game. This was a big com competition, but we came out looking to get that win. So I feel like all of us had the energy there um, to put in, and it paid off. We knew it was going to be a tough game from the start. Lisburn are a good side. Um, I definitely feel that we, we really picked it up the second half, and we, we did well to pull two goals back, a couple of dubious penalties, which really kind of set us back. But um, yeah, I think our second half performance was definitely a lot better. Did I, I feel like we tired out a little bit, but um, we just work as a team. We pull, pull it back and got it, like got the result we needed. Um, yeah, I never really scored my left foot, so I was quite happy with that. Um, but yeah, and I was just happy to score, and it was another another well taken goal as well from Olivia, um, and a great ball in from Lucy. So you know, we're showing whenever we do work together as a team, we are very dangerous. So it's just being able to to pick that up over the next couple of games going forward. Moving on now to our second game of the week, which features highlights from a derby game between Banbridge Rangers ladies who take on the girls from Dromora Village. Here's the match highlights from that one.
buzzing about it, especially because Dave and a couple of the girls used to be with Banbridge Rangers, so it was something that we really needed to do tonight, and that was was win. Disappointment. We were leading two goals. Our heads all were in it. Once Jamore started scoring, our heads dropped, and a second defeat of the league. And next time we need to bounce back. Played our best, but there was some things to improve on there. Um, but definitely, they gave us a, a game. Yeah, we've. We pushed so hard, the first 15 got our lead and next heads dropped and that's when our performance dropped as well. So you scored two goals yourself? I did indeed, yeah. Have Three, it. one not allowed, shall I say. Okay, so you thought it was in, did you? I definitely thought it was in. Okay, yeah. so you're disappointed well, not to get uh, the hat trick? Yeah, definitely, okay. definitely. Zoe McAllister seemed quite determined she had her hat trick on that one. Colin, what are your thoughts? Well, sorry to disappoint Zoe, but uh, as far as I'm concerned, no, it was uh, two goals, which is a good haul, but definitely not a hat trick. You seem pretty sure on that one. Well, I do have to say we had sort of outside uh, influence on that. We had a go cam in the goal on the night. So as the viewers will see now, there was no goal. So unfortunately, sorry, there's no goal. Two goals. That's it. So that completes this week's coverage of the NIWFA Leagues. On behalf of Sophie and myself, thank you so much for watching this week's review and for all your support for women's football in Northern Ireland. Until the next time, please stay safe, but don't forget, girls, girls get, get football. football.